to the Rico Arena here in Coventry. It's Group 5 of Championship League Snooker. Ricky Walden and Martin Gould are going to be playing uh, this first match here on Table 1. <laughs> Mark Williams and Ben Williston over on Table 2. The other players in this group, Judd Trump, Joe Perry and Dave Gilbert. There's been a couple of withdrawals. Leanne Wembo, Sean Murphy, Barry Hawkins are all uh, pulled out. But uh, quality all the way here. These two stalwarts, really, this competition. In fact, Gould here won the Championship League in 2013. Already through to the winners group, we've got Zhu Yu Long, Mark Selby, Karen Wilson and Ali Carter. Three more places to be decided, two of them this week, Group 6, Martin Gould. Thursday, Friday and first of all Group 5. It's going to be Martin Gould from Pinner in London to get us underway in Frame 1. Ricky Walden from Chester in the north of England. Pretty evenly matched these two. Gould 20th in the rankings, Walden 23rd. Two players have been in the top 16, ranking event winners. And like, uh, well, most of the top players, very, very attacking. And there's evidence there. I mean, first shot of the match for Walden. He's knocked in a great red. Really has. The players did have opportunity to have 15, 20 minutes practice beforehand. But even so, for the first shot of the match, what a pot. And he's on the black. So he's away already in this opening frame. Eight. Ricky Walden, 35 years of age, he's won three ranking titles, all of them in, in uh, China. Well, I guess this is an early tester with the rest. First frame. No problem, he's on the pink to the middle. Walden, a little bit like Martin Gould, and there's a few others as well. Stephen Maguire would fall into this category. Players have been in the top 16. They were just outside and trying to get back in. No ranking points here, but plenty of match practice ahead of the big tournaments that lead into the World Championship. And remember, if you're not in the top 16 after the China Open, then you have to qualify 31. for the World Championship. That's three matches, three best of 19s you've got to win at the English Institute of Sport in Sheffield to get to the Crucible. So some big tournaments coming up in the coming weeks and months for everyone, but particularly those players, as I say, just outside that top 16 bracket, trying to get back in again. And the way the game is at the moment... You can take just one good week, one big first prize to really propel you back up the list again. Mm. 
had the, uh, the uh, chance to go into them there and has done, but uh, not been left with anything dead simple. This little cut to the middle to keep the brake going. And now with the reds open, this is a good chance already to win the opening frame. Remember, all Martin Gould has done here is break off. He left a, a tough long red on. It wasn't close to the pocket or anything like that, but Ricky Walden knocked it in very nicely. Looking sharp in this first frame. 43. Now is he on this red to the left corner, he's had a good look. 51. Doesn't look like it, but he's got one to the left middle. Got to be said, he's looking 52. very confident here in the early stages. Great way to start any match a short match like this, remember they're only best of fives, really hit the ground running like this. So the blue puts him 65 in front, which means another red and a colour, and Ricky Walden should be 1-0 up. 54. And this is really as well as you can start a match. First shot, knocking a long ball and make a frame-winning break. 66. And remember, there is a high break prize of £500 for each group of this Championship League. So if he could clear the table here, he'd be in straight away the front runner for that. Main thing, pop this black, and it should be 1-0 to Ricky Walden. Never really been in any trouble either in the break. 73. Possible 140 on, taking blacks with the remaining reds. That would be a great front runner for that high break prize. Ninety. Flying around the table here. Ninety-seven. Ninety-eight. Frame's been going about ten minutes, and this black for a century. 
What a great start by Ricky Walden. And still in with a chance of this 140, which as I say will be a great front runner for the high break prize. Five hundred pounds. Very, very impressive. He seems to have got the, the measure of the table immediately. As I say, he did have a, uh, just a, a very short warm-up before play began, as the players were allowed to do. 150. But he looks very sharp indeed, and, uh, well, you fancy him to clear these colours now for the 140. 180. The perfect start then for Ricky Walden. The Chester man has taken out this frame in one visit. Martin Gould broke off, that's all he did. Ricky Walden knocked in a great long red. And has made a 140 total clearance. What a way to start Group 5 of this Championship League. That is superb. And as I say, could well end up the highest break of the whole group. Right in the first frame. Impossible to know how Gould's playing. He's only broken off so far, but uh, just had to sit that out. Walden really... Buzzed round the table, took no time at all to make that total clearance. Once again, seven players in the group. There have been, as I say, a few withdrawals. Liang Wenbo, Sean Murphy, Barry Hawkins. But uh, seven quality players. Judd Trump returning from Group 4. We've got uh, Gould and Walden here. Mark Williams and Ben Wollaston are on Table 2. And Joe Perry and Dave Gilbert also coming into this group. Brendan Moore setting the balls up, Ricky Walden off to a flyer, 140 total clearance has put him 1-0 in front. Second frame, Ricky Walden to break. Wow, one. well, <laughs> here we go again. Well, we can say uh, one thing, pot success 100% for Ricky Walden. Fourteen. 
fifteen. Well, as the angle from the blue to go into them, there's one loose red on the right hand side of the pack. Oh, he's missed the blue. Well, first mistake from Walden. Quite a common one, you see that often. Concentrating on that cannon to the pack, to the pink, to split the reds and just slightly take your eye off the pot. This is what happened here. So Gould, at long last, has a chance to pop one. But he's seen already the sort of standard he's going to have to produce today. In this match, the way that Ricky Walden has started. Five. Six. Yeah, Martin Gould, a former winner of the Championship League 2013 was his year. His big victory, of course, came at the German Masters two years ago, first ranking title. Just seems to have overrun this positional shot, though. Nine. Just overdid it. So that didn't come to much, that opening. There's that positional shot. Cost him. And he's left a chance here as well. One. So Wilden back in. Missed the blue, split in the pack, but didn't cost him. Still in front, in fact, as he comes back to the table. The head tear between these two in all meetings, they played a lot in the Championship League, actually, but all meetings, 13-7 to Walden, so he's quite significantly got the upper hand in previous meetings. Obviously, the players remember certain matches more than others, more significant encounters, close encounters, maybe, where one player... Well, the other will feel they should have won. No doubt, though, Walden is looking really sharp here this Tuesday afternoon. Thanks. Nine. Chance to go into the cluster. Oh, hang on. Oh, he's been very unlucky there. Wow. Really has. Well, then. Nine. If the cue ball had hung on, he'd have he'd have the red to the right middle, but it's gone in. So a bit of respite for Gould, who I think seeing the shot Walden had there to develop the reds would have been fearing the worst. Now Gould's not shy about taken on a long ball this is a big shot already here in this match if he can knock this in chance for him to get going if he misses then it's about what he leaves on and he has missed as he fluked it though oh he has well One. how things can turn round Walden was looking good went in off now Gould's fluked to red and nicely on the black Eight. 
Well, if nothing goes to this corner, he's still got the thin clip to the left middle. Just about controlling this cue ball, though. Yeah, that was the issue there, and it's right. not finished too well, really. Looking at this green, but I think it's going to be the little dolly up behind. So again, that was a chance to get going, and again, he's not made much from it, really. This has been called. Well, is he going to attempt that red by the blue spot? Doesn't have to, could have the white put back. Looks like he's made his mind up though to take this pot on. Yeah, and he's knocked it in. One. Fair play to Gould. Didn't go negative there. Needs to start developing reds, though. It's all just lying a bit awkward. It's a cluster of three by the ping he can attack. Oh, this has worked out nicely. This worked out really nicely. Four. Played it well. So a chance for Martin Gould then. He's been right on the back foot this whole match so far, but he's taken that red on when he could have had the white replaced from the miss and now sensing his chance to get involved in this second frame. He leads by nine points. Still a couple of awkward reds, but at least he's uh, keeping Walden in his seat because Walden's looked really good when he's been at the table. 140 first frame, was in again in this frame before that unlucky and off to the middle. Well, the shot was always on to develop those two reds, but the whites just drifted a little bit close to the side cushion. Just put a bit of pressure on this black now. Still fancy gold for this, though. Cued it well. Twenty-five in front, so big colours from the two open reds. Doesn't need the one just off the left-hand side cushion. Twenty-one. 
26. Brings it off anyway. The black was thrown ball, but with this red, should be no plan on for snookers. So what a great start to the match. Walden was a bit unlucky in this frame one way and another. The in off, Gould lays a fluke to red, but Martin Gould very positive when he took that red on after Walden had missed out of a snooker. Didn't take the miss, he decided to go on the attack and it's worked. He's played a good break here and he's got himself all square. Very high standard so far between these two. He's missed that but shouldn't matter, he's 40 in front on the colours. So Martin Gould levels up after the Dramatic start from Walden, that 140 break in the first frame. Gould delighted to get that chance to make it one frame apiece. Gould has a big session actually because he's up against Judd Trump on this table later on after this match. And then he plays again uh, this afternoon against Mark Williams. Walden also plays Williams this afternoon. And his third match of the day is against Ben Wollaston here tonight. <coughs> Brendan Moore, another Championship League stalwart, sets the balls up uh, ready for frame three. It's best of five, £100 a frame, a point uh, for every match one. So the table tomorrow night goes first on points, then it goes on frames one. So obviously. Even if you lose a match, if you win frames in it, that can make a difference. Top four go into the playoffs, and the winner goes into the winner's group. Already there, Zhu Yu Long, Mark Selby, Karen Wilson and Ali Carter. Three more places to be found. Third frame. Now, in the first frame, when Gould broke off, Gould break. he left a long red on. Not an easy one, but uh, Walden knocked it in and cleared up. It was actually not dissimilar <laughs> to this one down the left-hand side. This time Walden opting for safety plays uh, what was, looks like a good one. He's caught that all wrong. The only danger is the reds to the left corner all covering each other. There is the one to the yellow pocket. Down here, it looks a bit congested. Walden just having a look to see if he can get through to anything. Otherwise, it's going to be the one towards the bulk end.
not to be. So Gould, perhaps a little fortunate not to have left something easier, and now he's faced with himself, a very easy one to start with. So this is looking like a, a good chance for Gould. Reds nicely spread already. Very dangerous player. Been a bit inconsistent though. He won that German Masters two years ago. Said he hoped it'd be like London buses. One would follow another and another. It didn't quite happen that way. Although uh, he had a good run there again last year. Got to the semis. The Temper Drums qualified again this year. Twenty-eight. Well, it really went wrong for Walden in frame two. He was unlucky. He went into the pack uh, in pot in the black, went in off. But for that, you know, he could have been two nil. Gould, uh, though, seized his chance. He knew he had to play well the way Walden started with that one forty total clearance first frame. 33. By the way, Mark Williams is 1-0 up on table 2 against Ben Wollaston. Thirty-nine. 
40. So, the Blacks lead by 47. Still three or four open reds. <coughs> Had the angle, though, to play into them. The problem there, though, is that he's br now brushed off the, s the side of the red, so it's a bit of a tester to continue. 47. Didn't have to play that. There were enough reds out in the open to still win the frame but the thing about Gould is he's not shy about taking on a, a ball like this knocks a lot of them in just slightly awkward queuing he's going to roll his sleeve up quite literally <laughs> so uh, just so the, the shirt doesn't catch the pink Brendan Moore referee keeping close watch that make sure that doesn't happen And he knocks it in without any fuss. Sixty-three. Well, just needs this black. Just slightly overscrewed that, but uh, still, as I say, just needs this black, and it's snookers required in this third frame. In it goes. It's been a very high standard between these two. And Martin Gould fully playing his part now. He only had one shot first frame. And was up against it early in the second frame. But he won that. And here he is showing us what he can do with a big break of his own. Could do with an extra red just to stop any playing on for snookers. And it wriggles in. Seven. So he's going to be 2-1 up. And we've only been going about 40 minutes. Well, no sentries, missed that one, but he's done all the damage to win the frame. A 77 break from Martin Gould, who, uh, as I say, had one shot first frame, but has turned it round in style to lead Ricky Walden 2-1. Now then, we can have a look at table two. Mark Williams and Ben Wollaston. Williams won the first frame. He's 15 points up in the second, but Wollaston at the table on a break of 30. 37 with that black. Been a bit of shuffling around because a couple of players withdrew. Ben Wollaston was supposed to come in uh, a later group, but he's taken his chance to come into this one. Third Leicester player to feature this year. We've seen Mark Selby already in the winners group. Tom Ford has come and gone. So that uh, second frame in the balance on table two. But here on table one, frame. great start between Ricky these Walden. two. And it's 2-1 to Martin Gould as Ricky Walden breaks off in frame four.
Well, it's not finished well, but uh, Martin Gould really going on the attack now. Just needed a bit of luck in terms of position. So just a safety, trying to keep things tight, keep uh, Walden on the back foot, Ricky Walden who played so well for a frame and a bit, but uh, since then hasn't had much of a look in really, Gould made a 77 break in that last frame to kill it off emphatically. Well, the safety strategy from Gould was a good one, and he's earned this second chance now in this frame. Well, trying to plow into the pack there, but it's not really worked out. And uh, 13. Doesn't seem to have landed on anything. Unless this is a plant that he can make. He's having a look at it. Yeah, it's nicely done. He's very close to the first red. It made it a little bit easier, but he still had to make it, and he's on the pink. Well, just seeing what goes here, if anything, sort of finished a little bit no man's land. So had a good look at this red just below the black. That's the one. You may just have to put a little bit of side on the white just to pot this. Yeah, 
nicely done. So bang in business now, Martin Gould, 28 points in front and with a chance to take out the match. And when you consider how Walden started with that 140 total clearance first frame, this is a great response from Gould, who wasn't cowed by that at all. He's come out and played his own natural attacking game. So far it's working. Thirty-three. I can tell you Ben Wollaston's levelled up one each now with Mark Williams on table two. Fifty. The black to lead by 58 and then that leaves him just a couple of balls away from wrapping this up. I think the way Walden started sort of focused the mind for Gould really and just told him you know you're gonna have to play well here and he has done 57. as I say it started really to turn in the second frame Walden potted the black went into the reds went in off then Gould fluke to red and two shots in a row actually where just it was illustrative of the way these things can turn and they have done in quite a big way since still needs another red here He's 66 in front, 67 on. 65. And it looks like he's lost his way, he can't believe it. On nothing. Just needed another red, it was over. Well, can he clip this in, actually, I say on nothing. It looks like he can take this one on, it's a thin clip. Yeah, he can just get past the black. And it wriggles in, so... Yeah, holds his hand up, not the ready play for. He knows he dodged a bullet. But it should be Martin Gould's point from this opening match. It's been a terrific contest. Ran about 50 minutes, that's all for four frames. Ricky Walden started with a 140 total clearance, but now he needs snookers. 71. So 71 the break and there's the handshake, it was a really good match and Martin Gould turned it on having been frozen out, he had one shot first frame but found his way back into it, made breaks of 77 and that's 71. So Martin Gould then takes the first point from Group 5 of the Championship League, he beats Ricky Walden by three frames to one. And the next match here in 